Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com. Are you feeling confident as a beginner level language learner? Are you ready to move up to the intermediate level? Here are some tips to help you make that leap and advance your language learning progress. Tip number one, determine your skill level. It's important to look across your skills in the major language competencies, listening, speaking, writing, and reading. By taking our level assessment test, you can review your skills in each competency and see your strengths and weaknesses. Keep in mind it's normal to be better in some skills than others. Premium Plus users can take our level assessment test and get personalized recommendations and learning pathways based on your results. Once you've figured out which skills need work, it's time to take action. No matter which of your language skills need to be improved, make sure you choose a method that's both effective and fun to help maintain your regular learning routine. Tip number two, listening. The most effective way to build your listening comprehension is by building a strong vocabulary. The more vocab you master, the easier it will be to understand the context and details of the conversation. Songs in the target language are a key listening tool that will teach you common, everyday vocabulary. By learning and memorizing the lyrics, you're building up your vocabulary. If you really want your listening skills to take off, listen to our podcasts. We have hundreds of hours of audio lessons for you to listen to. Before you know it, you'll be able to understand shows and movies. Tip number three, speaking. Add speaking elements to your language routine. Try shadowing podcasts, repeating along while you listen. Match the native speaker's pronunciation and intonation. This is a fantastic way to improve your fluency and accuracy. You can also find a partner for conversation exchange. A partner can help correct your mistakes and teach you more natural ways to phrase your ideas. Tip number four, writing. An easy way to start writing more often is by keeping a one sentence journal. Write one sentence in a journal every day. It doesn't take a lot of time and is a great habit for beginners to build a routine. You have to be consistent to make improvements. Ask native speakers to correct your writing to improve even faster. You can submit sentences and phrases to your teacher using Premium Plus. Tip number five, reading. Reading is a skill you can improve by yourself. There's no need to rush. It doesn't matter if you read one or 100 pages at a time. What matters is that you understand what you read. Write down new words as you read them to practice later. If there's an audio version, read along with the narrator. It'll help you read at a slightly faster speed than normal. You can use the audio that comes with each of our lessons. Bonus tip, never give up. Where do your language skills currently stand? Where do you want them to be? How do you get there? Whatever your goal is, make it clear and part of your life. You'll reach it if you stay focused and positive. And if you really want your skills to take off, make use of our tools and resources. Technology meets technique, the seven tested, timeless ways to learn a language. What's the best way to learn a language? When you first started learning the language, you probably thought about this. There are a ton of study methods, but do they all work? And are they worth your time? In today's episode, you're going to learn, number one, the seven tested learning techniques, and number two, the technologies that you can use for each one. Let's jump into today's topic, technology meets technique, the seven tested, timeless ways to learn a language. So for each of the seven, you get a learning technique and the technology. This technology will help you learn how to apply the technique. These learning methods and tools will help you get fluent faster, guaranteed. All right, the first learning technique here is having talking points. And the technology for it? Vocabulary lists. So one big problem most beginners have is you run out of things to say. Your vocabulary is limited. You can't talk about your interests and you can't last long in a conversation. And the solution? Talking points or topics to talk about, like weather, food, or hobbies. Just imagine a conversation. You start with greetings. You move on to what you did over the weekend. Weekend, that's one talking point. You went to a restaurant. That's another talking point you can explore. If you know all the words and phrases for these points, you can speak more of the language. So, how do you build a list of talking points? Use our free vocab lists. 
Our vocab lists give you all of the relevant words and phrases for specific topics. Sports, travel, food, hobbies, holidays, daily routines. If you want to talk about food, pull up the relevant vocab lists and you'll quickly learn all the necessary words, phrases, and questions. Now you can use food as a talking point in a conversation. Then you can jump over to weather or sports. The more talking points you have, the more you'll be able to speak. Number two, shadowing, a powerful way to speak more of the language. The technology here is the line-by-line -line dialogue. Shadowing is simply repeating what you hear. You can apply this technique with any resource that has audio. But if you're using our lessons, listen to a lesson dialogue, read along, and try to read out loud and shadow the native speaker. This is a proven technique that will seriously improve your speaking. And the line-by-line -line dialogue tool makes it easy for you to listen and shadow one line at a time. This way, you're not overwhelmed by a fast native level conversation. Okay, technique number three, building your own language profile. The technology you'll want for this is the word bank. First, what's a language profile? A language profile is your personal list of words and phrases that are relevant to you. What do I mean by that? Let's say you're 20 years old. You'll want to talk about school, your life, your goals, your weekend plans. You'll want to learn slang. And if you're 40, you don't want to talk about school, right? You may want to talk about your kids, your work, and vacations. So a language learning profile is a list of words and phrases relevant to you, your age, where you're from, your culture, your interests, and your passions. If you're passionate about baseball, then your profile would have a list of words and phrases about the sport. So, how do you build a profile? If you're using our site, use the word bank. This is your personal collection of words. When you come across new words or phrases in our lessons or vocab lists, you can save them to the word bank. And the result is, you have a collection of words and phrases that match your interests and lifestyle, your language learning profile. Number four, spaced repetition learning. A great way to learn new words fast. The technology that helps you apply this method is flashcards. But first, what's spaced repetition learning? Imagine you're sitting in front of a teacher. They're quizzing you on vocabulary by showing you flashcards with the word on the front and the answer on the back. If you don't know a word, you'll see it again today and tomorrow and again and again till you get it right. But if you get it right, you'll see it maybe in four days, then seven days, then in 14 days. That's how spaced repetition works. You review words over a spaced amount of time so you never forget them. This is a powerful method for memorizing new vocab and phrases. But you don't have to sort words and force yourself to review at later dates. That's where the technology comes in, the flashcards. If you're using our website, just head over to our spaced repetition flashcards to take advantage of this learning method. The fifth technique, focus on the high frequency words or the most common words first. The technology, the 2000 core word list a list of the 2,000 must-know words and phrases. So why is this technique powerful? Well, the fact is, there are tons of words out there that you don't need to know. If you're a beginner, you need to learn hello and how are you, and not random words like aardvark and cement. And with the 2,000 core word list, you get 2,000 carefully selected words and phrases, broken down by category. And this is more than enough for conversational fluency. You can learn the top 100 words first, then the top 200, 300, and so on, until you know them all. Remember, you can use flashcards or the word bank to study them. Number six, learning with timely, relevant, and cultural lessons. The technology? The free daily dose of language app for the iPhone, iPad, and Android. Let's say today is a holiday, like Valentine's Day, or something seasonal, like the start of spring something everyone knows and talks about. Can you talk about it in your target language? The truth is most learners can't. They're not getting timely, relevant lessons from their textbooks or apps. But with the Daily Dose of Language app, you get timely lessons, holiday lessons, and cultural lessons to improve your language. And if you can talk to a native speaker about a holiday or a cultural point, you're making some serious language progress. What makes this tool so powerful is that it also keeps you on track with daily reminders. You can download our Daily Dose of Language app for free on the site, 
or search for it on the App Store or Google Play. All right, the seventh technique is getting feedback from a native. The technology? One-on-one -on -one learning with your Premium Plus teacher. So, without a doubt, getting feedback and corrections is the best language practice you can get. If you have a Premium Plus plan, you can send questions, have casual exchanges, or just practice with your teacher. They'll send corrections and feedback so that you're always improving. Your teacher will also send you assignments and they'll hold you accountable. You can also record yourself and your teacher will do a voice analysis. They'll tell you just how close you are to a native speaker and how to improve. Here are our top five review tactics. Number one, listen to examples over and over again. By listening closely and often, you start to pick up the rhythm of a language, as well as correct pronunciation from a native speaker. Use our line-by-line -line feature that lets you both listen and read along. Use this tool to practice as much as possible. Number two, use our voice recording tool to master perfect pronunciation. Record yourself and compare it against the native speaker. If you sound different, then repeat after the native speaker until you're able to match them. Use our voice recording feature, which makes recording super easy. Number three, master your recorded conversations. Record conversations and go over them again and again. Master entire conversations and repeat them line by line. Use any of the dialogues available for download on our website. These come with transcripts of the entire conversation. Number four, use mobile devices to reinforce previously learned conversations. Constant review is the best way to progress in your language studies. Download the recorded dialogue to your mobile device and incorporate it into your music playlist. Quick reviews throughout the day effectively reinforce what you've learned. Number five, read with line-by-line -line notes. Read along with a native speaker to really master pronunciation and natural intonation. You should start slow at first, then slowly increase your speed. Your pronunciation will become more natural. You will also see that your ability to understand fluent speakers will greatly increase. 21 ways to break your routine and master a language. You're going to learn, one, the importance of taking a break, two, how to update your language learning routine, and three, 21 ways to break your learning routine. If you've ever felt like you're not making any learning progress or are in a rut, then this is for you. It's time to break your routine. You'll find out how in just a second. 21 ways to break your routine and master a language. So, have you ever felt like you were in a language learning rut? You have a routine going, you're studying, but you're not really pushing the needle on your progress. So, what should you do? Let's jump into the first part. Part one, the importance of taking a break. So before you quit learning languages completely, you should just take a day or two off. Why? Well, there's a good reason why many cultures rest for one or two days out of the week. It's why we go on vacation, why we take days off. We need time to recharge our batteries because language learning is work. It's nonstop dedication to one of many goals you have in your life, right? You have other things in mind, bills, relationships, work, school, vacations. So first, if you feel like you're in a rut, take a break for a day or two, do something else, and let your brain rest. The next step, update your current language learning routine. Part two, how to update your language learning routine. What do I mean by that? I mean, do something completely different with your language learning. Do something you enjoy. And there are two ways you can update your routine. First, do something new within the specific skill you're working on. For example, if you like reading and want to continue reading, change the resource, put down the textbook and try a comic, or our easy extensive reading books on the website. The second way is to change it up completely. If you're focusing on grammar, stop that and switch over to something else, like practicing your listening with audio lessons or podcasts. The point here is you break a routine you're tired of and you do something else, something you enjoy, but you're still learning the language. The result is you don't burn out, you have something new to look forward to, and you're still taking action on your language goal. So right now you might be thinking, okay, I wanna break my routine. What else can I do? Let's get into the third part, 21 ways to break your learning routine. The key here is to do something new and fun. 
or at least something that's easy enough so that you're not overwhelmed. And for that, you need some new resources and study tools. So here are 21 examples. But if you have more approaches, leave a comment. These are just suggestions and you need to find out what works for you. Okay, if you're focusing on vocabulary, set small goals. Learn just five words a day. That's it. Sign up for our free word of the day emails. You learn one new word a day every day. Learn words and phrases with our free vocabulary lists. These cover all kinds of topics, seasons, holidays, and common phrases. Use spaced repetition flashcards to drill words. Or if you're listening to music or watching a show or a YouTube video, make it a goal to write down five words you don't know. For grammar, listen to our audio lessons. With every lesson conversation, you'll learn the grammar rules for the lines used in the conversation. It's a lot easier to hear grammar in action than to read about the rule. Look up example sentences using that specific grammar rule. Again, it's better to learn from multiple examples and see the rules in action. Get a grammar workbook and drill through the problems. For speaking, try and talk to yourself. Say what you're doing out loud. Read out loud. You can do this with any reading resource, including our lessons. Shadow what you hear. If you've heard this tactic before, there's a good reason why you're hearing about it again. Because it works, and if you're not doing it, you're missing out. For listening, this is the easiest skill to practice. Just watch a YouTube lesson. You can also look up songs and TV show clips. Listen to our audio lessons on the site. Immerse yourself. Download our dialogue tracks that give you just the conversation in the language and play them on repeat. For writing, make it a goal to write one or two sentences about your day, or simply copy out text from elsewhere, whether our lesson or a social media post you saw. You can also write down all the new words you learned today. Finally, for reading, it's a bit tough to find an easier, more fun routine, but try these. Read along as you listen to the audio, so you'll need a resource that gives you text and audio. The audio will make it easier for you to follow along. You can easily do this with our audio lessons. Try kids' books or comics in your target language. Try our extensive reading practice books. These are easy, one-line-a-page books that are designed to get you reading fast. Or find a book about a topic you're interested in. Or a book you read before in your native language. Then try reading it in your target language. Again, the point is, if you feel that you're in a language learning rut, the best thing to do is take a break and then do something new, something easier, something that's fun. Now, what's fun is really up to you as a person. You just learned a whole bunch of ways to learn, but if you have more approaches, please leave a comment. These are just suggestions and you need to find out what works for you. Here are the top five shortcuts to learning a language. Number one. Create a study schedule and set some goals. Many language learners are unorganized. Creating a schedule allows you to free up time to study consistently. Goals give you motivation and something to strive for. Number two, make it fun. If you learn how to make your study time enjoyable, chances are you'll be more inclined to study. Watch a TV show with subtitles or listen to some music. Number three, find a language partner. This is the best way to improve your conversation skills. It will help you gain fluency even faster and increase confidence when speaking. Number four, use word lists to build up a solid vocabulary. This is a great way to build up your fluency, one word at a time. Luckily, we have all the word lists you need with a range of topics from food to love. Choose whichever language you want to study and go. Number five, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Nothing helps you improve more than correcting your own errors. You're more likely to remember it correctly the next time around. Everyone makes mistakes. Don't be afraid to learn from them. When learning a new language, we sometimes have a hard time with things like procrastination, discouragement, or failure. But don't panic. With a good strategy, you'll be able to overcome these difficulties. Are you ready to discover the four habits of successful learners? Number one, optimize your time. When learning a language, it's important to dedicate time to your studies regularly, even if sometimes it's difficult. You're busy with school, work, family, or friends, but you can spread out your learning throughout the day. 
Study whenever you have small gaps of time in your busy schedule. This can be when you're on the metro, on your lunch break, or while you're exercising. Our podcast learning format fits perfectly into your tight schedule. Number two, consistency with your chosen method. There are a lot of options when it comes to courses and learning materials. Switching from one method to another can confuse you and disrupt your progress. Focusing on one learning method will make a difference. Our method has been created and optimized by real teachers, so you can stick to it with confidence. Number three, use your language background. Many languages share some commonalities. You can find words that look or sound similar, or even share the same grammar structure. A little bit of language background will give you an edge while learning. Number four, study continuously. People are excited when they start learning a new language. The enthusiasm usually lasts until the first roadblock. This can lead to discouragement and procrastination. But don't burn yourself out. Learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't try to learn it all at once. Break things down into more digestible chunks. Learning step-by-step step might feel slow, but it's an efficient way to learn a language. With patience, motivation, and good resources, you'll master the language. Remember, you can't learn a language overnight, but with motivation and these daily lessons, you'll be on the road to fluency. These are four methods to help you think in a new language. Number one, surround yourself with your target language. This way, you'll be completely immersed in the language. Without realizing it, you'll learn pronunciation, sentence structures, grammar, and new vocabulary. Play music in the background while you're cooking, or have a radio station on while you study. Just use one of our endless podcasts available to you. These are easy to listen to in the background while doing other things. Number two, learn through observation. This is how we all learned our native languages as kids. Words will develop their own meanings that relate better to your target language, rather than meanings that are translated directly. Number three, speak out loud to yourself. Even if you're a little embarrassed, it forces you to listen to how you speak. It makes it much easier to spot simple grammar mistakes. Number four, practice daily. If you practice everything for only one day, you won't retain the information you learned. The brain can realistically only focus for about 30 minutes. So studying a little every day allows you to absorb better. Learning a language using PDF lessons is convenient, efficient, and can help you cut your studying time nearly in half. Many people give up on their dream of learning a second language because traditional classroom instruction is too much of a hassle. Between getting to class, studying on someone else's schedule, and just the sheer expense of the books and tuition, traditional learning can be tough. Many people simply give up. Online classes are an option, but sometimes limited data plans can derail the dream of learning a new language. Fortunately, there is a solution, learning language using PDF lesson notes. Let's take a closer look at how studying language lessons in PDF format can help you reach your dream in about half the time of normal video or audio lessons. First, print all lessons and PDF tools and take them with you anywhere. Sometimes a tiny smartphone screen just isn't adequate, especially when you're trying to learn something new. The great thing about PDF lessons is that they can be quickly printed and taken anywhere after you download them. In fact, printing out lessons in PDF format can actually save you time when compared to going through the material on a smartphone with a small screen, even with the extra printing time. Second, they're a great study tool to boost retention and mastery. Studying video or audio lessons online is a great way to learn a language because students can play and rewind sections as many times as needed until the lesson is mastered. But when you review the same lessons again in PDF format, an incredible thing happens. Your retention dramatically improves. Thanks to time-space repetition, seeing the information again in written format helps reinforce the information in your mind and improves both retention and recall. The benefits of learning a language using PDF lessons quickly add up to significant time savings for you, your data plan, and your dream of learning a new language. Third, all lessons in PDF format include in-depth instructor notes. We have thousands of HD video and audio lessons, and each one includes a PDF version with a line-by-line -line transcript so you can read along with the lesson as it appears online. 
In addition to the line-by-line -line transcript, all lessons include in-depth instructor notes with more information, sample sentences, explanations, and translations. The additional information and notes help you learn faster and with greater mastery than using the video or audio lessons alone. And when paired with language learning video games, video and audio lessons, or other study aids, our PDF lessons help you reach your dream of learning a new language faster and easier than many traditional classroom settings. Fourth, you can download the world's largest online collection of lessons by real instructors. Planning on going on vacation and don't know if you'll have reliable internet service? If you're learning through PDF lessons, it's not a problem. Once you download lessons in PDF format to your smartphone, PC, or favorite media device, they are yours to use and keep forever. Once downloaded, you can either print out or access your lessons in PDF format, regardless of internet access. When you consistently learn through PDF lessons, the time savings and benefits quickly compound. From quicker access to faster learning, PDF lessons can potentially reduce total study time required to learn a concept. Our PDF lessons include instructor notes and supplemental resources that help you learn faster and with less effort. Three reasons having a native speaker partner can improve your language fluency. First, knowing a native speaker helps you better understand the culture. Knowing a native speaker gets you connected with the culture in ways that no lessons or textbooks ever could. Native speakers are better informed about the latest slang expressions and know interesting places to eat and hang out. Having a friend or partner who is a native speaker can dramatically improve your understanding of the language. In addition to language, you can learn about cultural practices, gestures, and relationships. Second, having a native speaker partner increases your exposure to the language. Practice makes perfect is a well-known expression that is certainly true for language learning. When you have a friend, romantic partner, or study buddy, you speak to them through text messages, phone calls, and basic interaction. These are all opportunities for you to practice the language. Making an effort to practice will help your vocabulary quickly expand beyond simple greetings, flirtatious words, and basic comments to deeper, more meaningful conversations. Third, a supportive partner is the best study aid you can find. We all make mistakes, especially when trying to learn a new language. But if you have a supportive partner, they can gently point out your mistakes and help you find better ways to express yourself. And if your native speaker study partner is also your romantic partner, your motivation will likely be even higher than someone who does not have a romantic relationship with a native speaker. Now, let's look at three ways our language learning program helps you learn even faster if you have a native speaker partner. First, all resources and materials are available in English and in your target language. Studying with a partner is special because it's an opportunity for both of you to learn a new language. That's why every single lesson, transcript, vocabulary list, and resource on our website is available in English and in your target language. You can learn from each other. Second, lessons are designed to help you understand and engage with culture. On our website, our focus is to help our students learn practical vocabulary and phrases that are actually used in everyday conversation. This means that from your very first lesson, you can start applying what you learn immediately. So if you want to go out to a restaurant, play games, or attend a social function with your partner, you'll have the vocabulary and phrases necessary to have a great time. Third, access to special resources dedicated to romantic phrases. If your study partner is your romantic partner, we have resources to help you communicate your feelings correctly. Our language learning program has special sections and tools to teach you love words, phrases, and cultural insights. Of course, please remember that simply being in a relationship is no substitute for studying. Communication is key to every relationship, whether romantic or not. If you fail to continue expanding your vocabulary and you stop learning the language on your own, your relationships may suffer or fizzle out. Three easy methods for learning a language in your car. You can put them to use right away with the help of our language learning program. First, you can listen to fun audio lessons by real teachers. Listening to lessons while in the car allows you to focus on the road as you listen and learn. In every one of our three to 15 minute lessons, our teachers teach you conversations, new phrases, and cultural points. Audio is the only learning medium that lets you learn and drive safely at the same time. So take advantage of all our audio lessons available. Second, you can set your lessons on autoplay and go hands-free. Our autoplay feature lets you keep your hands on the wheel without even reaching for your device. 
just set your lessons to autoplay one by one with our Innovative Language 101 app and never have to interrupt your focus on driving to switch to a new lesson. Third, you can repeat out loud and speak from your very first lesson. You want to speak a new language too, right? Well, you'll start learning conversations minutes into your lessons. All you have to do is listen and repeat out loud. Our teachers take you step by step through all of the words, phrases, translations, and grammar points. You're even prompted to speak out loud and repeat. The result? You understand it all and can speak your new language. Turn your commute into language learning time and have fun at the same time. Learning doesn't have to be a big commitment, like signing up for a college class. It can be fun and easy. In fact, it's as easy as pressing play. Our language learning programs will do the work for you. And with the exposure you get while driving on your daily commute, you'll be speaking and understanding real life language quickly. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.